fans. But I'm telling you, Bears fans, watch out. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, let's roll through the NFC South here. This is pretty simple. This is all going to come down to them playing each other. Okay, I don't, I don't see them getting two teams out of the NFC South, but let's take a look. Buccaneers currently in first place due to a 3-1 and one division record, 5-4 and four in the conference, 6-7 and seven overall. Big win against the Falcons is going to count head-to-head. One mulligan they'd love to have back is that C.J. Stroud game-winning drive where they lost 37-39 with literally under a minute left. Uh, their four remaining games, they got the Packers, who are in the hunt with them. They get a Jacksonville team who's not playing their best football the last two weeks. Then they get a good head-to-head against New Orleans, which could be critical to decide in the NFC South. And then they finish with a lifeless, a lifeless Panther squad. Uh, looking at that schedule, let's give them the Panthers. So they're seven and seven. Uh, Jacksonville is an is an interesting game. Let's say Jacksonville takes care of them in that game. So they're seven and eight. Uh, that Packers game is going to be critical. Uh, I Packers coming off of a, of a of a disappointing loss might bring the Packers back down to reality. Um, let's say the Packers win that one. Okay, so you're at seven and nine. That Saints game is critical. Let's give them the Saints game. So they're eight and nine. So we got the Bucks at eight and nine. Let's see if that's going to be good enough to win the NFC South. All right, so the Bucks at eight and nine could easily flip that Packers game and have them nine and eight. 